same problem with my live and you seeing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with my four inch disc. Once again, this is cardboard. You can use anything. You can use your ribbon rolls. You can use, um, the frozen pizza box that you get. Um, obviously dry it out and then just cut it because you'll never see if this has pattern on it You'll never see it. Um, we put two more layers behind it um, Even the second layer with the ribbon tails. You'll never come on in here um, I normally pop the center out because I, I need the center Open anyways, so I just automatically pop it out, but we're going to be using the four inch disc This is a five and a half inch mum. This is fake. Um, I do not make them at all. Uh, you can get them at sometimes Michael's. Well, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and all your craft stores will have the mums and they'll have all different colors on stems and they'll have them in a bouquet. You can use those. There's nothing wrong with those. Here in Texas, because um, homecoming mums are popular and some other uh, states in the south where they are popular um they'll use them so that we have shops that have them floral shops etc so what i'm doing is i'm taking my pipe cleaner and i'm cutting it in half hello 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 hi everybody hi susan i cut it in half because i don't need the full one waste not want not and at the end i'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I am going to make two knots. Okay. I'm glad CD's on here because if it if he doesn't want it the way I'm doing it, then he can tell me and I can stop and redo <laughs> instead of um taking a picture, sending it, waiting to get back, etc. So I'm happy about that. I love you, CD. Okay, so I have two knots in there just to make the stopper so that way it doesn't go through. This is to make sure all my petals stay together, that they don't fall apart. Oh, and I'm sorry, once again, if you could be so kind and force push me out, I'd really appreciate it, I uh, thank you. So I'm gonna take off the back, all the green stem, etc. I don't need all that, that goes in the trash. I just take it and find the middle, okay? There's the middle. Let me make sure that you guys can see. Hello, hello. Good morning, afternoon. <laughs> there we go, you can see. So I'm gonna put my pipe cleaner right through the center of that, okay? Just a little bit because I'm still going, I'm gonna cut off this part. It's not needed. All I want basically is a flower. I don't need any extra um, backing to like push it up and just be awkward when I try to put it in the disc. So now, just make sure that everything's in the middle. I'm gonna pull down, okay? And there is that little knot that I have. Now I'm gonna take my hot glue, which I always have over here. Cause you know, I burn myself. I burned myself, y'all. I want to put some hot glue right in the center. I need a new hot glue gun. Just saying. How did y'all? And then I'm just going to pull at the same time, push down and cup it so that way that glue is sticking to the center and hold it there for a minute. Um, good, 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 good. Okay, so now I held it on there. So now my they'll come off this way but they're not going to pull off this way if that makes any sense and this isn't going to be this is going to go right into the disc and glued and stapled and this mom ain't going nowhere so that's how i prep my mom now for the outside i did um the tutorial to a couple weeks ago oh uh, you're welcome honey you're welcome um and I did big loops and then I did sort of a half of a awareness loop. I'm going to be doing the crazy loops all the way around. 
and I think it's gonna look really pretty. Um, she's a classy lady, y'all. Classy lady. It's black and gold. <laughs> I just I picture her CD. Tell me if I'm wrong. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Right? <laughs> Dan is at work. He has to work today, not me. Um, so I just think it's like, this is like 50, in my head, this is probably CD. You could correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but in my head, I'm thinking glam. So this is what she, she's going to get this. So I have both gold and black glitter. Um, here we call it diamond dust. Um, I'm not sure what other parts of the state call it or even the different states that do moms and have the this glitter. I love it. This is an impact. So I'm going to cut it at six inches. I'm cutting four of each. And then I'm going to put some really pretty tool. This is gold just to be like, oh, because that's what I, I feel like it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Yes, we have been. I, I have been. Okay, one, two. And if I need more, we'll definitely cut more. But I'm going to do this first. And then I got a crazy de design. Um, I don't want to call it crazy. To me, this is like 1920s, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, I'm going in here. So like I said, four of each. Right, cool. Now these are uh, one and a half. <laughs> I have to think about it. Okay, good. Woo! So <laughs> good CD. To me, black and gold is just, that's what it is to me. Then I have um, gold. This is, I think this is high satin. Yeah, this is satin holiday gold. Okay, and then I have a black luster, and what we're going to do is alternate. So the gold is going to go on the black glitter, and the black is going to go on the gold glitter. Now I'm going to show you how to make these crazy loops. They actually have become um, one of my favorites to do. It's a little harder with the Pee Wee Mums, unless you do the whole head, um, because the, the disc is so small. But since I'm going to be doing all of it, the crazy loops, it's going to look awesome. Can you lend me one of those in August? Absolutely, Miss Barbara Craft. Absolutely. You just hit me up. I'll do Mother's Day. Um, i got to do an example. I have uh, wristlet, wristlets that I do, um, but they're all homecoming. I need to make an example of a wristlet for my Mother's Day and Easter. Okay. Now, oh my gosh, if it was like in my head, <laughs> I'm going to be using this in the funky loops as well. You can mix patterns, you can do everything. Dan took it, right? <laughs> okay, so with the funky loops, let's get this party started so you're not here all day. Because we're gonna, we're literally going to do this mum today, but I'm doing it in sections for you so the lives are not that long. But here I'm talking and losing ribbon and it's no bueno. No bueno. Oh, um, I think it was that one. Okay, so I take my black and then I take my gold. Now it could be any colors you want. Does not matter. Um, but I found that it needs to be at least six inches long. Anything shorter, your loop is going to look weird, okay? So I'm going to take the two backs and I'm going to put them together. Okay. Now all I'm going to do, it's a little weird and I found my rhythm and the way to do it. Um, but you, you can find yours as well. What I do is I take my thumb and my four fingers. I fold it in half, but then I'm folding this one in. And then this one, the other way to meet that point. I want to make sure that you guys can see. So we're doing it on the angle and it needs to be the right angle. 
okay? And then I'm gonna staple. Oh yeah, I moved my fingers. There we go. Don't move your fingers when you're doing. And then you staple. And you form it out just a little bit if need be. And that's your crazy loop. Okay. Now we're gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna take my black and my gold, wrong sides together. Do the same thing. Okay. I want to fold. It doesn't matter which way you have up um, starting. It doesn't, you can have, you don't even have to have the glitter. You can have, if you have a high school or like um, if it's for a baby and you want to do like um, a cream or a white and a pink or cream and white and a blue, that would be pretty too. So I am making sure that it's, you know, my thumbs are where they need to be, four fingers. Fold it in half, twist. My fingers I'm pushing and then twisting. And then making sure, oh, this is easier for you to see. Making sure that I'm connecting it at the right angle. Now, if you have anything like a two and a half, I would go eight inches with your cuts um, just so that way you can see the craziness, which is the crazy loop. These are going to be fun. Once again, wrong sides back to back. Got my thumbs. Okay. In half, fold down, taking my middle finger, pressing it down, and then bringing this up. It's, I don't know how to do it on... Maybe next time I'll try to do it on the board for you guys, making sure that those angles are done. Now, um, petals or the loops or anything like that. So, like I said, this is what I had in my head. So we're gonna figure it out. Last one. So we have four of each, total of eight. Okay, so we have those and you know, the solids with the glitter, perfect. Now I'm gonna come in with this one. It's the gold and black stripe. It is wired ribbon, but what did I tell you about wired ribbon, y'all? If you're using wired ribbon, just take out the wire. You can use wired ribbon. Uh, sun is out, cold in Pittsburgh, yikes. No, 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 no. All right, who stayed up and watched the Super Bowl? We watched the Super Bowl. Well, okay, I watched the Super Bowl. I do like the Super Bowl. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I like the Super Bowl. I do watch it. So I'm also cutting these at six inches, and I'm just taking out the wire. You just take it out. And I take out the wire, so that way I can't expect... CD's mom to understand that if it gets flat during shipping to fluff it out. So this ensures that it will not flatten because of this wire. We've all had flat, we're squishing our bows. We've all done it. I do it with mine constantly and my ribbon tails. This just ensures that it's the pattern and colors that I like and that go with the mom itself but you don't have to worry about it flattening. 84, nice, nice. I think we're going on 70 today. Don't quote me, I could be wrong. <laughs> All right, so with these, I'm gonna do every other color. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do four of these. So one's gonna be in gold, one's gonna be in black. Mix it up guys, mix it up. Gonna mix it up, make it interesting. I like looking at mums, even pictures of mums, and just seeing, you know, the different style or the different ribbon they used, etc. Okay, once again, back to back, same thing. All right. So this is gonna give it a little different look. We still got that glitter in there, but it's now it's a pattern.
Now the gold. I'm gonna start with four for right now. If I need more, I can always cut more. Like I said, this is a different design than what I've showed you in my other videos. And see, so you can just fix it, form it, etc. I think I've done this once before and I loved it and just never did it again. Don't know why, just never did. No idea. That's what happens when something comes in your head and you're like, oh yeah, and then it completely loses. It's like, oh, what was that again? <laughs> or you get so used to doing one thing that it's just like you're on auto drive. It's like with the wreath, you're just on auto drive that you're going to do it this way. Oh, no problem, Susan. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. Watch the replay and then later on tonight, we're going to finish the entire mom. Because y'all, I love the ribbon tails. I haven't even shown CD the ribbon tails yet. I haven't sent him a picture or anything, but I think he's gonna love it. All right. So now I am going to take my disc, once again, four inches, and I'm gonna do the uh, north, south, east, or west, or up, down, left, right. However you wanna, you know, remember that in your head. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I do with the loops but I'm gonna put the point, I'm gonna make sure that it's in the middle. One way to do that and to check is to use your scissors. And I am going to staple it in, okay? I'm gonna do now the direct, directly across. Turn it sideways. Do it again. Okay. Wrong one. Wait a minute. There it is. <laughs> okay. And we're going to. So you have your X or cross, however you want to call it. Hi, Colleen. How are you? I have a day off. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right. Now with the other one, I'm going to do, I'm going to go in between. Now when I go in between, I'm going to lift it just a little. Okay. What I mean by lifting is instead of having it right here, okay, I'm going to lift it up. So I have that little bit of space in between here. This is going to give it a little bit of dimension. All right. It's going to be fun. That's what you want these to be. I know you can't see. There you go. Whoa. I went right in there and totally missed the disc itself. Wait till you see what we put in the middle of this this evening. Let me put the whole thing together. I'm excited. She likes giraffes. Mr. CD found some cute little giraffes to put in here. I'm so excited to add it. But I don't add anything in the mom until the, at the end because you know I squish down the mom to make sure that it has contact. All right. And so now we have a really pretty, it almost looks like a present. Um, a bow for a present. You know those plastic ones that you get at Walmart or Target during the holidays? I thought it was another pattern. Okay, now with these, I'm gonna go in between. Now I am layering. I am layering right in between. So I am gonna need to cut more and that's fine. Now this one, I'm gonna push in a little bit. And I may need to start using my glue gun because it's getting in there. And then staple. And then for those of you just hopping on, you'll be able to see how I cut them and how I did the crazy loops. These are called crazy loops, y'all.
I'm just going in between. So now it's layering and stacking. And you can see there's a dimension in there now. And you can see where the crazy loops are coming in. It almost looks like fabric being woven in. I don't know if you can see that. It's just really cool looking. I love crazy loops. So let's go ahead and do four more. And if you're liking what you're seeing, and you, but you don't like me, or if you like me, and you like what you're seeing, <laughs> still go ahead and force push me out. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm gonna cut them all at once, guys. I don't know why I'm wasting the effort. I'm doing that one at a time. Now the acetate ribbon, that is the black and this gold, you can find it in any floral shop. Um, I believe Hobby Lobby and Michaels has it. I'm not quite sure. I don't go there to get mine. Um, I have um, my dudes here in San Antonio. <laughs> I have uh, Travis Florence Floral Wholesale. And then I have a Chanel. And then C found another one, which I wasn't able to get to this weekend, and I'm pretty bummed that I didn't. However, there's always next weekend. All right. Ricky made the bomb brownies for the Super Bowl yesterday. They were so good. They were chewy. They were just really yummy. And I'm like, oh, you didn't overbake them or anything. He's like, yeah, because I, I read the directions in the package. And I'm like... Smart butt. <laughs> and then we had, you know, we don't, we like to like pick and eat. I know that sounds weird and just wrong, but we had the charcuterie board. I can't say the word. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> no, I know that's not how you say it, but I, I make that now for pretty much every holiday because we all enjoy it. And it doesn't matter what your taste is with the meats and the cheeses. There's a little bit of something for everybody with some fruits and veggies. And I just become accustomed to just like increasing what's in it. And, um, you know, how I, how I put it on the board, the circle board that you saw in my, uh, personal page picture, that is the death star. Danny got that as a birthday present from his manager. And it was pretty cool. It slides, so it's a circle, it slides out, and it has all the um, the knives for cheeses, and it was really cool. We just can't figure out how to open it. <laughs> what did you all have for the Super Bowl? Or if you weren't watching the Super Bowl, what did you have last night for dinner? Since I didn't get to see you this weekend. Inquiring minds wanna know, I always have food on the brain. Always have food on the brain. I don't know what we're having this evening. We'll figure it out. Maybe meat. So you have different colors, different textures, different patterns. Just holding it in there. And then stapling. Putting it in, holding it with my thumb. And yes, they overlap, and that's perfectly fine. That's what they should be doing. Because you don't want to have any gaps. You don't want to see any backing. Okay, I need black. I must put a gold there. No bueno. Okay. Last one. Then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to show you how fun this looks. Okay. This looks so much fun all the way around. Oof. The last one is always the hardest because I need to get in there um, with my, <laughs> you know what, I do see this one. I want to pull out just a little bit. All I do is take my needle nose pliers and I want to pull it out just a little bit, just a hair because I want it to be uniform. You just kind of got to work. That's why I love this. I love this. I use this in a pinch. Y'all saw me when I was doing the Valentine's Day mums. I had this decided to clog up. So just very carefully, I'm going to go through the layers. Make sure that it is straight. You're not 
gonna wanna stay, are ya? There you go. And go. Okay? Now when I hold it up this way, when it's on um, the chest or if they're wearing it as a um, necklace, see the dimension in there? How pretty that is? To me, it looks like fabric that's just going all the way around. But we're not done, y'all. We ain't done. This mom needs some class. This ma'am is turning seven years old. She needs a whole lot of bling and a whole lot of fabulousness. So this is glitter tool, gold, hamburgers, yum. Love watching you, you made my first two lovers. Yes, awesome, Cynthia. That's awesome. That is so cool. I am, I am so happy that you made one. And that's what I was doing all weekend. I was making tulip because that's, that's what's coming in. I'm cutting it 15 inches. The, the tool itself is six inches. So now I'm going to take it and I, I may do 10 inches. I don't know yet. I got to take a look of how it's going to look. See how pretty that is? And I just want to put it inside the areas so that way when it when I put the mum in it's just gonna have this hint of tool in there it's gonna be really really pretty so hold on all I'm doing is taking a pipe cleaner yikes this is just to hold it y'all and just twisting okay but look I'm not using the whole pipe cleaner I'm cutting it off really, really short because I don't need all of that. I just need to hold it, okay? And I don't need all that bulk. So I'm going to cut four. I always start with four. I always start with four. I'm so happy you made the tulip. Okay, flip it over. Now you can add this to anything. I just think... Like these with a, a mommy mom or a Mother's Day. And it doesn't have to be glitter. It could be a really pretty soft purple or a pink or something like that. I'm just putting the pipe cleaner in between. Okay. I take it. The tool is going to bounce back. Promise. And I'm just twisting. Hello. This is going to attach my next... Um bundle here well it's not really a bundle so i'm just creating a ruffle guys that's all i'm doing and i don't want it to be overpowering like i said i want this to be like just soft because this is very strong colors in here and like i said i don't i wanted to do like a, a 1920s theme because the colors that they chose or that cd chose were gold and black. And I'm just like, heck yeah, heck to the yeah. And twist, see? All right, now I'm gonna go in here. Now, what I do is I'll, if there's a little nub like that, I'll push them in. So it's like, it's seating, like it's an L. So that way I can lay it a little bit better when I'm putting it down. This is where I'm gonna use glue because guys, I'm not gonna to try to go through all this with this, with this. So now I'm just going to put a little dab of ya, a little dab of ya. I'm gonna sit it, I'm gonna nest it right in there. And I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers, work smart guys, work smart. I'm gonna set it on there. I'm going to take a little swiggy swig. All right. So I'm going to let this set. Um, my number one rule is let everything cool. You know, just make sure that it's in, it's grabbing whatever it needs to grab. And I don't want to shift it yet. I don't, I really don't want to shift because now I'm going to put this, this mom head in the center. And I just want to make sure that these aren't going to pop out because they're not cool and they're not set to the base. If that makes sense. And if it doesn't, please let me know. I kind of talk Amy talk sometimes. Oh, head of the mom. Mom, mom, same difference. 
Okay, so we left this long. We did not cut it off because now we are going to go through and I want to see how it looks first before I put it, any glue in there. See, see how that just pops? That little bit of just tool just makes it so pretty and elegant. Now you could do deco tubing. I have done deco tubing before in it. I just like this. I think it's classic. Um, I just, I think it's pretty. And then I think I'll cut it down just a little bit around, just a little bit. Cause I don't want it to come out. My sight line is here. And I want to make sure that my sight line stays in the correct sight line. So like the little longer ones, I'll go ahead and cut down. But now I'm going to take this, spread it open. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to take a whole bunch of glue. Now, this is where don't, don't be chintzy on this glue y'all. When you're doing a mom, don't be chintzy now. Don't be chintzy. Okay. Now I'm going to feed that. That's why you leave this long. Now I'm going to feed it down. I'm not going to have any contact with that glue. I'm not going to burn myself. Put it down through. Flip it upside down. Ah, uh, you can see that. I'm sorry. And that is warm. That is so hot. This is so, so hot. Okay. I'm going to lay it on the table. And now I'm just going to press my flour in. I'm going to press it in. Just so I get contact. Now it looks like you're squishing. Absolutely. I'm putting everything that I have in my weight, <laughs> which is a lot in here to make sure that every petal is in contact with that hot glue. Why? Because I don't want any of it coming out. I want it to be a nice seam. Okay. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. So while I'm here and that's, and that's cooling, I'm just going to take it and just cut a little bit off that sight line. Ooh, my scissors, what's going on with you? Well, I can hit any sharpen you. See, now it's just this, this sight line that you can see. Oop. Okay, let me put this in the trash. All right. So all I did, this pipe cleaner, I'm not even going to cut it now because this is going to go through the um, other disc that I'm going to have for the skirt. Now, I was going to go live again, but since I have y'all on here, do you want to do the skirt with me? This has got to cool. I don't mess with this right now. I don't. I don't start putting it, the mum together at all. This is the first thing that happens, and then I set it aside and I do everything else. Okay, let me put you up. How pretty. How pretty is that? I know, it's so pretty. I'm making sure you guys can see. The lighting is not great right now, and I apologize. I, I set this aside. Let's do the skirt. You're here. Let's just do the skirt. And then tonight we'll put it all together. Okay. So that's the head. When, um, if you ever hear, or you're watching another tutorial, when they're talking about the head of the mom, that's this, the skirt is what it is, a skirt. So think of this as the top and the bottom. So let's get some, let's get our skirt on. Let's have it. Don't need that glue gun no more. All right. So like I said, the colors are, I want to say pink and pink, but it's not. So this is two and a half acetate. Um, 
black ribbon. So normally this is a peewee. So peewees are normally at 14 inches. The back, oh, did you see that? What's with my scissors? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We have to figure out what's going on with that. I cut them about 17. I cut it a little bit longer because I always do the angles. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, let me do the skirt. So I'm going to do three. This is, a, like I said, this is four inches. These are two and a half. Um, for my bigger ones, my six inch and larger, I will always do, um, I'll do a lot more. But that's backing. I don't know who that was. My bad, y'all. No, CD, you're fine. I'm so sorry about that. I thought I had the do not, do not disturb. Now this is a two inch gold. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut about three. And this one's gonna be, yeah, let's do 17 on this one. Now obviously you can cut them all together, but I never have a plan. I just know that my mom backers um, need to be thick. And I need to have the color of whatever season it is, or whatever school, or whatever color scheme it's going to be. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting for the gold. And this is just layering to make it look beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to come in with that one and a half. And these I will do a little bit smaller. These will just be a little bit smaller. So I cut those at 17. These will be cut at 16. But they'll probably be cut a little bit uh, farther down. Let's cut six of these. You want the back to be very airy. Because once you put in the uh, folds and braids that's gonna be craziness it's gonna be awesome and you want that little peekaboo i call it peekaboo <laughs> peekaboo hearts peekaboo everything um you want that where when you have your braid no i'm not gonna show them i'll show them this evening i don't want cd to see yet watch he's gonna hate him no <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding um you want where, it, you know, when they're shifting, when they're walking, you know, I'm talking about the high schoolers, um, the things are going to move. You want it to be fluid and you want that little peekaboo to go, oh, what's underneath there? You know, what's underneath the braids, etc. So I'm doing all this. <laughs> all right. Now, holes over there. This is what I'm talking about. My shinies. These are my shinies. These are my glitters. These are my shinies. I think I cut them way too long. That's okay. I'm going to cut them down here. You want a different texture. I did. Okay. It's all right. That's why we can cut. And I can use those on a, another mom. Why do you always have to do... Uh... Oh, Madonna, I'm so sorry. How is Trisha? LaShonda, hey girl, hey! <laughs> right. Madonna, I hope she's doing better. She needs to stop. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, She needs to stop going to the hospital. She needs to just stop. I miss you, girlfriend. I miss everybody. I need to call... There are four points. Hmm. I had an issue. Because they changed the date again. <laughs> I, I don't know. Go. I don't know, y'all. Just that if I'm at a wit's end. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my glitter. My black glitter. 
This is why I'm talking about layers, y'all. It's taking a layers, 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 layers. That's what the skirt is all about. And it's easy to put together. It's just finding the ribbons, cutting them, what you want to put in it. Like I have uh, cellophane ribbons that say homecoming and they have like footballs and everything for um, the school. Now I have this, I think it's really pretty. It's polka dot, it's in one of the um, ribbons or the braids that I have in my, in the actual mom part itself. So I'm gonna use it. All right, okay, I think I got all of them. We got them. Now we're gonna build. Let's build this mom. So I'm taking the four inch sticks. Hold on. Oh. All right. So now, yeah, like I said, I'm going with the 20s theme. For some reason, this color combination reminds me of the 20s. Don't ask me why, it just does. And I love the 20s, like uh, Monsieur Poirot, <laughs> Little Grey Cells. I love that show. And I just love the aesthetic. I love the era. I just love everything about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting. I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just forming my fan. I call it my fan or the flare at the bottom of the skirt. Now it's gonna be bigger, but this is the base of the three black, two and a half. The, see, it's so large. This is gonna go out. It's gonna be, this is gonna be big. It's gonna be big. So all I do is place my hands there, making sure, and even if I move, I keep moving them. I always move them. My fat hands, my fat hands. Okay, I'm gonna go underneath the disc. I'm gonna start stapling. All right. Now I'm gonna put down the gold. Now I'm making sure, now this is called air. We never want air at all. We don't wanna see air, no air. No bueno with air. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So I'm going right in between. Now I wanna build out the sides. Like I said, this is gonna get, my fan is gonna come out. Okay, making sure I'm not covering up that hole too, too much. Because that's where I'm going to feed the pipe cleaner from my head. I'm going to put my hands down. Making sure that everything is where I want it. This one's going out a little bit further than that one. You can adjust. Making sure. There we go. Ha ha. Going underneath and stapling. The staples on the back, you'll never see them. You'll never see them. Okay, continuing with the layers. So I have black, I have gold, black. I'm going in between. Okay. Right? <laughs> I did think I was off. What was I thinking? Hmm. <laughs> no, I love doing this. Hmm. I don't like that. I always try to go a little crazy and then my OCD kicks in. I'm like, nope. It needs to be on the same on the sides. <laughs> pay no mind. Pay no mind. Pay no mind. So I have another black, don't I? No, I have another gold. I had three and then three. Aha. I'm gonna put this gold over the black because this is gonna start, I'm thinking of when I start cutting, it's gonna taper in. Oh, okay, I got this one on this side. 
I'm going to do this over here. Y'all, I'm just going to cut another black. And then I'll put the gold right in the middle. See? Always have your ribbons next to you, waiting and ready. Okay. And the gold right down the center. You're just building up, building up, building up. That's what the skirt is for. The thicker the skirt, <laughs> the closer to Jesus. I don't know, I don't know. What's that saying? The, the bigger the hair? I'm not a southerner, guys. I live in the south, but I'm not from the south. I'm from Illinois, <laughs> so I don't know the whole sailing. <laughs> the saying. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go with my shinies and my glitters. So my glitters, I wanna do the black. I, oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is, it's just me, I guess. This is totally in my head. This is the 20s. I don't know. I, I'm just, I must be crazy. Okay, I'm going to put the gold shiny. Actually, no, I'm going to put you. No, you're a little bit stiffer. Okay. <laughs> I say this because the stiffer ribbons I want on the outside so they can hold that form of it being fanned out. This is a little loose, so that is gonna go in the middle. Oh my God, how pretty. Oh my God. So you have different, you have the different golds, you have the different blacks. Now I'm gonna go in with just that accent right there and right here. I that's all I gotta say. I know, right? The glitter ribbon is just so nice. Ugh, love it, love it, love it. Want some more of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna push it. This one goes over here. What was I thinking? Yes. Now it makes sense in my head. All right, now all I wanna do, oi, Push down and stable once again. Now you may think this is, gets heavy. It does, but gluing, when I first started out, gluing made it so much more heavier. It really did. Now you can see that shine and that glitter. I take it up, I give it a shake, and then you can't see it. I make sure that. The reason I do that is I make sure that everything is stapled in the base and nothing is falling off. If something falls off, I know now, instead of pulling it up with all the different braids and folds in there and then go, uh oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? All right, now all I'm gonna do is flip everything up and I'm gonna start I have to do it this way, guys. I can't do it upside down. I, I normally do show and do things upside down for you so that way you can see what I'm doing. Um, there you go, that's it, CD. Um, but for in this case, I have to do it towards me. <laughs> I, I have to. Okay, so all I'm doing, I'm just flipping the ribbon up. I'm taking that bottom. I always bring it to a V. It's just like cutting your ribbon, y'all, for your wreaths. I'm gonna make it into a point. Okay? That's where I'm gonna base my cuts now. I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. Okay, so my V line right here, that's where I'm gonna start cutting and basing it on. So my point is here. So I start, oh my God, my scissors. They need to be sharpened. This one needs to be angled up more. Okay. So there's the point. There we go. There's the point. There's my angles. I'm going to bring down the next layer. 
I'm going to do the same thing. The point is here. I'm going to bring my angles in. These will be a little bit longer just to get a little different angles. Oh, that cut across. There we go. I want different lengths. That's the whole point. Let me bring down the next layers. Okay, I know this is in the middle. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna fold it in half, and I am going to cut it uh, the opposite way that we would um, dovetail. We're gonna do that point. So now these, I am cutting at the angle. <sighs> sorry guys, so sorry. Who told everybody I was off? Who told everybody I was off? Everybody and their mother is calling me today. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody. So I'm just bringing it up a little so that way you can see the next layer underneath. See, I'm now can see the, the gold underneath. But you can do it however you want. I'm just layering and having fun with it. Okay, it's coming to a nice V. How pretty you can start seeing the layering. Okay, next layer, let me bring down the glitter, the shinies. Okay, this one's gonna be up a little bit more. Trying to make it like, I just want to see the next layer underneath. That's all your goal is right now, is to see each layer individually. Okay, I'm going to bring my two. They may be a little bit longer. Oh, I am not happy. What's going on with my scissors, y'all? What's going on with my scissors? I need to go to shoplikeamyrose.com and get me a pair of those scissors from Deco Exchange. <laughs> now with this, because it's satin, where did it go? I'm losing everything on my table now. Oh, it's not here. I don't know what happened to it. But I take a lighter. I showed it in my last video. I take a lighter and just seal. I'll just take it and burn it a little bit. So that way um, it seals the ends so it doesn't fray. Everything else will not fray whatsoever. All right, guys. That is, that's just the skirt. We still have braids and stuff to put on there. And CD, I was thinking about on either side putting the, um, the garland. Or we could do, mm, this would be beautiful. Hold, hold guys. I just had an idea while I was here. Just had an idea. Hold please. Can you see this loveliness that I'm pulling out of my hat? Or my bucket over here. <laughs> we could do... Now, like I said, I'm going to finish this this evening, but since it's elegant, maybe I won't go with the, like the pom-pom looking, the garland. I'll use the garland on, um, as an accent on one of the, whatchamacallit, the braids, but with this, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, in it. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Let me hold it up so you can see it a little better. Of course, it's not going to lay right. But if I, if you're wearing it, 
it would hang down and just be another pop of glitter in there. You probably can't see that, sorry. I don't know. We'll figure it out this evening. <laughs> I am excited. So we made the, um, oh, I saw this. Hold on. Howd. Need to clip. Give a little haircut. I saw that. We made the mom head today. I think it came out beautiful. Um, we have the 70 to put in there and a little giraffe because it's her favorite thing as a giraffe. Then we went ahead and made the skirt ready to put all the goodies on it this evening. Oh, from shoplikeamyrose.com, Rhonda. Shoplikeamyrose.com is my affiliate link with Deco Exchange. And he has those scissors, those really good scissors that I keep meaning. And I hope to gosh, they are in stock. I didn't even look. Um, but that's where um, he's got these ones where he cuts. And you know that sound? It, it's just a, it's a better sound. It's like, holy cow, I need that. <laughs> I need it in my life. So this is what we did today. If you missed it or if you came in late, please go ahead and check the replay. This is a crazy loop uh, mom head that we created today. And I am in love. This is something different than what I did in my last mom head video. And then we created the skirt, just layering up the beautiful black and gold ribbons. And then this evening, we'll go ahead and put everything together. And then I can give it to CD and hopefully his mom will love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This one looks like it has a dip in it, but it doesn't. It is straight. It just looks weird on the video. I don't know why. <laughs> You're very welcome. Does anyone have any questions? If you do and you don't remember it until after the live, you know, ask it, ping me. Um, I, I will be on this evening putting it all together. You can ask me then. Um, tonight you can ask me anything about the head or the skirt that we did now. And you'll just have a, a, a little booster because you've already seen how it's done. Yay, CD! I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I just thought this was... I love the deco tubing in it. Um, but this, I feel, is very elegant. Yay, Madonna! I miss you, girl! Yes, I'll see you guys later. What do you sell them for? These? This is going to be a birthday, Mom. Um, uh, during the months of end of August through November, we have here in the state of Texas, and there's other, other southern states that have homecoming moms. And those are just, they're like a school pride, school spirit um, thing that they wear. This is considered a peewee. Um, if you'd like to go on my YouTube channel and my videos under here, I have done senior moms that get up to 37 inches long. It went off my table and they wear them and it's, it's just a school pride. It's, it's a tradition here in Texas. So I highly recommend you take a look at my videos or you Google homecoming moms. Um, I've also made them for mommies to be. Not, you know, this elaborate, but pretty blues and mints and a green, etc. So. You work outside the home? I thought you just did wreaths. Oh, no, Patty. I do more than just wreaths. I do, I craft. That's why my business name used to be Amy Rose um, Wreaths and Crafts or something. And then we just took out wreaths and we just did crafts because that was, thank you so much, CD. Um, that's what I do. I do anything. I do centerpieces. I do these. I'll do um, swags. I'll do, you know, I'll try anything. If y'all don't, if y'all find something that you want to try, but you're scared to spend the money to do it, let me know. I'll be your guinea pig. I tell that to everybody all the time. I will be your guinea pig. I will try it. And see if it's doable. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, City. Patty, 
outside, but I'm not sure about you work outside the home. No, no, I'm at home. This is my uh, craft room. We normally go in the dining room now uh, because my brother-in-law, he's at work right now. That's why I'm able to be in here. Uh, but he has half the other half of the space for him. Um, and Dan enjoys working in the, the dining room table. So you may, you may see us more over there. But I like doing the mums on this table. I'm just used to it. All right, guys. Hi, Josie, for the first time. Welcome. I'm Amy Rose with the Amy Rose Craft Studio. I just finished teaching how to make a uh, mom head. Um, I always want to call them homecoming moms, but they have become, for me, more than just homecoming moms. <laughs> they have become Valentine's Day gifts. They have become, this is a birthday mom that I'm doing. Um, I've done an engagement mom, y'all. It, that was the honor of a lifetime to do that engagement mom uh, last year and I was so very honored. It's snowing, ew. <laughs> oh yes, I work, I work from home. Thank you so much. I didn't understand that. Thank you, Tana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Patty, I do. I'm so sorry. I had the day off. Today I actually requested it off because I, I do watch um, the Super Bowl. I watch it because I love football. Um, doesn't matter what team. I always want my team, the Bears, to be playing. But hey, it happens where they don't. I don't want no hate on the Bears. <laughs> but I love watching football and I love the Super Bowl and we have a little spread. So I always I requested today off. But I do work from home. We are being safe. So Dan and I both work from home. Um, during the day and then I try to go on in live in the evenings on Tuesdays and Thursdays Dan took my spot last Thursday. If you haven't go check that video out He uh, worked on the wing board from unique in the creek. It was awesome. It was so so good All right guys, so we did the mom head. We did the skirt Guys come back later this evening. I'm gonna say let's do uh, let's do 5, 5.30, and we'll put it all together, and I'll show you the, um, the ribbons um, and the folds and the braids that we put on the Homecoming Moms, and it's going to be awesome. I thank you so much for joining me today. I know you just see my hands. Maybe this evening you'll see my face, but I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. Can't wait to see you back here. Bye by 30. I'll let you guys know. Until then, so long. Farewell. Avina saying adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you who. Bum ba da dum dun 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 da da dum dun dun. Bye guys. You have a great great day. Um, if you would like the boards, pin posted at the top of my page is my affiliate link to. Unique in the Creek, or you can go to Amy Rose Crafting at G Amy Rose Crafts dot Etsy dot com. It has um, my pre I preload the boards for you. I make it real real easy. Oh, oh, I can't shut off the thing. Hold on, this is a long outro. Bye guys. <laughs>